Hey YouTube, thought I would go ahead and put a light kit on my 2012 Honda Stateline VTX 1300. Never done it before, looks pretty simple, watched a few YouTube videos, plus uh, the instructions came. Uh, did the usual, took the seat off, the side covers there, so they're already taken off and I'm ready to uh, start at it. I've been wanting to do this for a year and didn't because it just seems like a long t drawn out hassle to do and I'm not a mechanic or an electrician but uh, it does look pretty easy so I'm not going to do an unboxing I already unboxed it so I got the Dietrio uh, 12 LED light sets I already pulled everything out it's got for the smaller ones, for the medium ones, for the long ones. Came with four one to three splitters, two one to two splitters, and then all the stuff. Got my alcohol to clean it up. I washed I washed the bike real good a little while ago, dried it, let it sun dry even further. So first part they say to test it out uh, before you hook everything up. So Seems simple enough. Got your kill switch there. This one comes with remotes. Uh, let's see. So that's going to be my positive, my negative. I'll just crimp on the positive and negative clamps that come with this. And then start hooking up the lights one by one, maybe two by one, two by two. We'll see. Uh, just to make sure they work. Okay, I've got it hooked up to the battery. You've got the positive to the positive, the negative to the negative, and now I'm just checking to see the, if the lights all work. So here's that whole harness or whatever. Uh, I've actually already checked the long ones, the medium ones, and now I'm checking the smaller ones. They're all lighting up. I got one to three splitter using, so this one I'll have to check separately. So I'll plug this one in a minute just to make sure. And then I will unhook everything and then start on the layout. Okay, I'm planning out where I'm gonna put these. Two of them I've figured out pretty easily. I'm gonna put a medium one up uh, behind the wheel well. There's room here. Uh, right up against some wires. I'm not sure exactly how high, but right up against the wheel well. The long one of the long ones. I'm going to pull up under the gas tank, and I'll do the same on the other side. And then from there, I'm still trying to figure out where on my bike uh, on the Honda State Line, which is going to basically be the same as the Fury or the Interstate. I can put some other ones. So. Because uh, I don't do bags on my bike or anything like that, so I'm not doing any on the bag. So uh, stay tuned. I'll come up with a spot for the other two. Uh, well, for two, at least two more to highlight the main area here. I've played around with where I think they might look good. Uh, like I said, I'm going to put a long LED strip underneath the gas tank, a medium one inside the rear wheel, rear wheel well. Do that on the other side as well. Then what I'll do is the kill switch, which here's the kill switch. I'm going to attach in here and I'm going to take one short strip and illuminate from there. Now remember, if you're familiar with this bike, there's the, uh, they're over there, the panels or covers that cover up the battery and on the other side so that'll come around this way and up to here but I'll have this at the bottom of them where I can still get that those panels in and out so now I'm going to be illuminating uh, from this angle to the left towards the engine I thought about the uh, front rear well but there's not a lot of room and I don't want wires coming up the forks so there's the radiator the top part of the plastic I'm going to try a short one along here, which will illuminate down towards the front. And then on the frame, let's see if you can see it, this metal bar on the frame. I'm going to take a short and put it on the metal bar, 
but I'm going to do it on the inside kind of at an angle aiming down and the same on the other side. That should be, do pretty good lighting. And let's get at it. Okay, I got all the lights installed. I didn't do the one in front of the radiator like I thought I was going to do. Couldn't find a way to get it through where the wire would be hidden. So let me show you what it looks like with it dark. Let me close the garage door first. I shut the garage door. Uh, still some light coming in from the side door, but uh, I, I'm really pleased with how it came out. So I'm going to share it with you now. There's green, red, blue. Obviously, it's got all the effects uh, where you can either fade from one color to another color. You can flash, uh, do whatever you want to do there. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, keep it solid, I guess, for right now. Uh, but again, I'm really pleased with how it came out, even though I didn't put one at the top of the radiator like I planned on. I didn't want to mess with taking off the gas tank to hide the cord or what have you. Uh, but uh, I still have plenty of lights left over, still have some one to two splitters uh, available. So plenty of extra. I was really pleased with how much a cord came. So, uh, I, you know. After a while, I may go ahead and uh, add some more lights somewhere up to the front when I really want to get industrious and find a way to hide them, whether I do it under the front rear well and, you know, zip tie the cords to the forks or something like that. But for what I've done, I think it came out really well. Again, I've got under the tank, under the uh, frame at the bottom, right in the center under the seat shining towards the motor and then under the rear wheel well. So again, came out really pleased, uh, glad for the, I guess it was what, $50, $60 investment in the lights. And it took me about three hours. I took my time uh, really planning out how I wanted to do it, using the alcohol to clean off the air, even though I'd already washed the bike, used alcohol to uh, any place I was gonna put the lights. So again, really pleased with how it came out. Uh, Hope this helps anyone who decides to do it.